Yo, 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 hey y'all, I had to start a whole new live. Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? I had to start a whole new live, y'all, because when I got on, Joe, my shit was static and like That's all I just heard when I got on here. Even right now, I don't even say live. It say I have no live viewers on here. But I see y'all comment like a motherfucker. Damn. We just got back, YouTube. Damn, baby. You know what I'm saying? What the fuck? That was crazy. Mm-hmm. I created a whole new one. The other one that I had set up after like a, a, a live that y'all was waiting for, I had to save that and make that video private and come start a whole fresh live. Because I was on here looking at y'all, and then I hurt myself back. Mm -hmm. I hurt myself back. Like, like I was talking, and I could hear myself. Like, what the fuck? <sighs> We're here, family. They kicked us off YouTube for a week. If y'all wondering where I had been, it's because they kicked me off YouTube, Cosmic Family. <coughs> they said they don't want me talking about the Hot Sauce 19. <laughs> so now I got to use code names like Hot Sauce 19. But anyway, how y'all feeling, man? Shout out to Mill Chaser, Connect Higher, underscore, what that's, Connect Higher Self. We'll turn the AP decks what it do. What it do, reflections. What it do. How is y'all feeling out there? We are woke. What it do, reflection. QZ the label. What it do, reflections. We are in here. We are back. Beautiful reflections. Beautiful reflections. I miss y'all. We are back, y'all. We are back, man. Welcome to the university. We got a good one tonight. Shout out to Naples, Florida. I see you, baby. Shout out to Naples. I see y'all in here, Megan Brown. King underscore Josh TV. Kobe Chapman. Eduardo Ledesma, what it do? Orlando, shout out Orlando. Shout out. Yeah, drop y'all shit. Where y'all from, man? The door is just not opening, man. Drop where y'all from right now in the comments, man, so I can shout y'all cities out. Where y'all at? Who all in here? Where we, where we at tonight? Shout out to Memphis. I see Memphis. Shout out to Philly. Creator Rashida today from Philly. Shout out to Boston. Darian, shout out to the Shy. You know how we coming in the Shy. That's where I'm from. Didi the King, shout out to the A. That's where I'm at right now. Who was that said? Dallas. That's at Texas. Dan Zuli, shout out Texas. Wait for my moment. Shout out Orlando. I stretch money. Big Texas. Carbonated Dallas. JV the Bank. Memphis. Wild Williamson. Gary. We got Virginia in the building. Bella's baby say Cali. We got Alabama. We got Josh Rodriguez. New York. Kevin Top. NYC. Marvel. Louisiana. I'm finna come to, to, to Louisiana real soon. Divine God is a love. East St. Louis. What it do? Vallejo Cali. What it do? Who out there say we got two Mississippis in the building? Sippy, what it do? Darius Williams, Tyler Panks. We in here, y'all. Killer Walkie, Kobe Lloyd, shout out to the Mill. Holly Grove, shout out to the Carolinas. Shout out to the Natty. Tom and Jerry say they up there in the Natty with it. King Kenzo out there in the Natty. Savvy got us out there in Florida, Florida. Vision World, Pittsburgh. Baltimore, we in here. What it do, baby? Lil, we got real spills, say Lil Rock and Houston. Natural for like Baltimore, MBB, Bronx, ATL, what it do? We in here, ATL, Mobile, Alabama, G8, Barbados, what it do? Barbados in this bitch, nigga. We in Barbados with it, man. Shout out to the Caribbean, nigga. That's where we all need to be right now, nigga. We coming to Barbados where you at. We coming to, we coming to Barbados where you at, goddammit. The whole university, y'all. We coming to Barbados where he at, man. Where he or she was at. Illinois in the building. What it do, y'all? Man, listen, man. Y'all shut alive. Y'all shut alive. Y'all tweet this shit out, y'all. Because we on Twitter, too. Y'all tweet this shit out. Let them know we live. Y'all go on Facebook. Let them know we live. Y'all go on Instagram. Let us know, let them know we live, man. Let them know we live. 
And, and, and we're going to solve an ancient mystery tonight about this Bermuda Triangle. We go, we're here to decode the lies. We're here to decode the lies. Inspector Rashad Jamal motherfucking gadget back on top on they ass. Hit that like button, y'all. Pittsburgh, what it do? That's Mike Thornton, J Trap out in Charlotte. JD110 out in Watts. Hey, I'll be in Cali soon, man. I'm coming to Watts, man. Have me some good gas lined up. When I get to Cali, I'm hit. When I get to Cali, man, have some good gas, man. I need a good gas connect when I get there. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to smoke the best. I'm trying to only smoke the best. YouTube. Say hello to my baby. Beautiful, gorgeous crystal right here. Heavy. Heavy. Heavy on the energy right now. Heavy on the positive energy. Positive energy, I was Chris Elevation. We heavy on it right now, y'all. We heavy on that. I'm gonna move the camera back. Y'all know when I move the camera back, I can't I ain't read no more comments. And I say that with all due respect. I just want y'all to be able to see us sit here before y'all tonight like this. There we go. Excuse me. How y'all feeling, man? Mmm. We got some talking to do tonight. We got some talking to do tonight. Because we want to know what's going on down there in that Bermuda Triangle, baby. We want to know what's going on in that Bermuda Triangle and why the water in the Caribbean can be seen in these crystals right here. Same, same color. Let's talk about it. <laughs> hey, I know I'd be like the crypt keeper to the motherfucking elites, nigga. Every time we go live, they're like, fuck. Back. Fuck. What are we going to use now? You hear me? And I get on here, y'all. And y'all be like, y'all be like pinky in the brain, nigga. And I be the brain, nigga. And y'all be like, Rich Pinky, what are we planning to do tonight, Pinky? And I'd be like, <laughs> the same thing we plan to do every night, Pinky. Plan, plan to take over the world. <laughs> to take the planet back. You hear me? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We want to be talking about hot sauce 19 tonight, YouTube. You're gonna to have to find another reason to stop the to stop the factual actuals tonight. <laughs> so listen, we want to know tonight why is the water in the Caribbean the same color found in these crystals? Hey, can I see yours? Cause yours really hit. You know, yours hit differently. See, the goddess, she got a nice chunky. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Here we go. We want to know. We want to know. Y'all see that? We want to know, why is the water in the Caribbean, which the Bermuda Triangle is located in the Caribbean, why can that reflection be seen in these here? Hmm. Why? Why? So many stories they kept from us. She's so pretty. Yeah. That's beautiful, ain't it? Y'all see that? This is beautiful right here, man. Why? There you go. There you go. We want to know why. We want to know why. Are we going to tell them why? We're going to tell them why tonight, ain't We're going to tell them why, Z, and start the alphabets all over again if they need us to. Don't even worry about it. If you want to know why tonight, grab your popcorn, 
Roll your weed. If you don't smoke, don't start tonight. Stay sober. All right? Whatever it takes to relax you. If you a workout guru, nigga, do you 100 push-ups right now. Whatever it takes to relax you. You're going to need it. We going into the Bermuda Triangle tonight, y'all. We, we going over there. We, we need to know what the fuck is up over there. We need to know. We need answers. Because, you know, the Matrix is falling right now. So we got we to gotta crack across everything. Nigga, we going across all the, all the world wonders that they ever told y'all about. Don't worry about it. Rashad Jamal got you right here. Every week, I'll be breaking down different world wonders. Let's get to the bottom of this shit. We just got to get Everything is coming down, y'all. And I just want to say I'm, a, I, I'm playing a part. I'm a part of everything coming down. And I, and I like it. Like, I kind of like it, y'all. I'm wondering, you know how like we went into the wood or we went into the forest of lies. And I went in that bitch like Hacksaw Jim Duck. You hear me? I went in there like Paul Bunyan. You hear me? And I'm hacking trees and hacking lies down. We hacking lies down tonight. We gonna get my lie hacker. Time to bring out Time to bring out the lie hacker tonight. We're bringing out the lie hacker. This is the lie hacker. We not hurting nobody. We just slicing across the lies gently tonight. Okay? We not here to hurt nobody. We not here to talk about black or white tonight. We're only focused on the Bermuda Triangle. We're here to just, you know, politely... Politely, you know, we just hit a politely hack the lies down gently tonight. Let me put the lie hacker up. You know, this motherfucker sharp got to be careful with it. Take some phalanges off trying to put it back up. Hold on. We're going to leave the lie hacker right there. So, we ain't here tonight. First, let me start by saying peace to the gods and goddesses of the planet Kai. Peace means positive energy always creates elevation, man. Positive energy always creates elevation. That's all we promote in here. Nothing, nothing more, nothing less. Tell your mama I said that. Tell your daddy I said that. Tell your uncle I said that. Tell your auntie. Tell the family dog that positive energy always creates elevation. That's all Rashad Jamal stands for. That's all the University of Cosmic Intelligence stands for. Let's let that be known tonight. We don't want y'all YouTube delete no video. So if you delete this video, everybody in the world know 500 plus people know plus the thousands that watch my channel because we are now at over half a million views on this channel. Shout out to y'all. Shout out to the Awoken ones. All right. We had 524,000 total views on this channel. Shout out to the Awoken ones. Whoever viewed a video on this channel. Peace to the, my peers. Peace to the elders, of course. Those 60 and older in the university, those who are new to the university and you, you just passing through on YouTube, that's cool too. Peace to you. Are we only sending peace to you? Peace to my peers, 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, peace to you. I send peace to the youth in the university, 21 and under. It's about bridging the gaps. There's all the separation has to stop on the planet. Okay? It's not about black or white. It's not about rich or poor. It's not about, there's really not even about right or wrong. You know what it's about, y'all? Vibration. Either you're going to vibrate low, which is negativity, or you're going to vibrate high. This is the Great Awakening. Those who refuse to vibrate high will be left behind. They will disintegrate in their low vibration. They will implode within themselves for refusing to vibrate high because the planet herself is no longer on that third density. Okay? Okay? The planet herself is no longer on that third density. All right? The planet herself is no longer on that vibration, y'all. So, I'm emphasizing that tonight because vibration is everything. I was just talking to them about this on, on Instagram earlier. 
For those of you who don't follow me on Instagram, feel free to follow me at I am Rashad Jamal. Those of you who are in the university, help them out in the comments and y'all drop my Instagram for those who want to follow the Instagram, all right? We, we got to understand, y'all, these draconian reptilians, they slick than a motherfucker. Mm-hmm. You know, when YouTube kicked me out for a week, it gave me a week to really go deep within myself, y'all. And I'm like, my name is getting out there as some sort of racist, some sort of radical, some sort of rambunctious in individual. So let me speak for myself intelligently right now before we get deep into tonight's lecture. When I speak to y'all, the only thing I want is for us to unite the planet. I, I, I know damn well that, that, that white people is not our enemies. I know that white people is, is human beings and human beings are not our enemies. Not the human beings, all right? The human beings are your poor whites, your middle class whites. And I got a lot of people that's following me right now. The university's strong. So, like, I don't want to mislead none of the guys. And God is like, you got to understand what I'm saying. When I say fuck these human beings, I'm talking about the hierarchy human beings, the rich ones, the elite, the racist motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Not the real human beings, the ones we reverse engineered. All right? Why I'm saying that? Because... Like I've been saying from day one. Hmm. They talk, listen, this is what the draconian reptilians did. Let me show you what they did. This is the planet. Pay attention. This is planet Earth, but I told you it was, it was originally called planet Kai. All right, this is Tiamat. This is Kai. All right, this is you, luminous being, nine ether being. This is your black and Latino race, dark matter energy, neuromelanin. This crystal is full of neuromelanin and dark matter energy. That's another. We're gonna talk about that too. That's all part of the trying. We'll get to it. So this is us. This is your God race. Your blacks and your Latino people, your colored people of today. This is your God race, right? So let's sit them right here. They created this planet. This is the planet. Then you have your human beings. Okay? I need another. And then you have mankind. Okay? Human beings. Mankind. The planet. The God species who created it. So the God species who created the planet. The God species who created the planet. The God species who created the planet, right? It's theirs. Human beings, they come and land in portals. They see the planet. Now, mankind was also with these human beings. The human beings forced an alliance with the draconian reptilians and the Pleiadians, human beings, draconian reptilians, Pleiadians, planet, mankind, God species. Okay, so the Pleiadians and the reptilians, they hid out in the Caucasus Mountains. Because they came to our planet through portals in the Caucasus. They sent the human beings out there first to scout it out. The human beings looked out, peeped out, and saw themselves as ants. In our in in our in, in in their eyes, they saw themselves as ants compared to us, right? And they tell you this in the Bible. Yes, they do. They tell you this when and they tell you when they talk about my tattoo itch. I just got tattooed. Y'all y'all know how to get the itching and shit. But you know, they tell you this in the Bible when they say that Moses led his his people in Exodus. When Moses led his people, part of the Red Sea, he led them out of Egypt. As soon as they crossed Egypt, all of a sudden they forgot that they that they knew everything they knew all of a sudden. I mean, that's what they tell you in the Bible. Because for whatever reason, now all of a sudden they needed to be re-civilized, which is what the book of Leviticus is about, which follows Exodus in the Bible. The whole book of Leviticus is about what happened after they got away from the pharaohs in them. And that's what they had. And then the whole book of Leviticus is about what to eat, what you shouldn't drink, how to carry yourself, how to treat your wives. That's followed by the Ten Commandments. That was given for them. Right? That's what they tell you.
after the Ten Commandments, they walked around for 40 years trying to find a promised land. The chosen people. This what they this what Shakespeare told you in his Bible, because a lot of y'all don't know that. Shakespeare wrote the Bible. Shakespeare wrote the Bible, okay? He just took a lot of our true text and then filled it with, with poetry. Actually, him and 130 plus other poets wrote the Bible. And if you didn't know, Shakespeare had an alias too. Shakespeare was a poet. Guess what his alias name was? Just like I'm Rashad Jamal, but my rap name was Jetta. Jetta. Or you got Sean Carter, and his rap name is Jay-Z. You got William Shakespeare, and his poetry name was Francis Bacon. Do the research. I got the, I got the iPad right here, though. But I want you to look that up. William Shakespeare. Now go look up Francis Bacon. Francis Bacon was a poet. How do I know all this? Because I witnessed it all from the astral realms. How's what I know? Let America tell it. I don't know shit because I dropped out of high school. Did y'all know that I dropped out of high school with 700 motherfuckers on live? If you didn't know, I did. I sure the fuck did. Proud to say I did it because they did nothing but taught you lies anyway. But William Shakespeare, here back. Alias name when he wrote his poetry was Francis Bacon. Okay, now let's keep let's keep listening to this story of Moses and why it's important tonight. So when Moses and them was looking for the promised land for 40 years, 40 years, and they was in it the whole time. That's what they tell you in the Bible, right? And then they they tell you now, watch how this coincide with what I just told y'all. They then tell you that they sent scouts into the land, into the land of Canaan, and Moses couldn't go in with them. Moses couldn't go in, but they could. Because remember, they said Moses had abused his power when they, was, when they was starving in the desert. They said Moses had cracked the stick and made too much water come out the side of the mountain or some goofy shit. So that's the reason he couldn't go into the promised land. But niggas reading the Bible should have known. You should have known they was lying. Because how the fuck this nigga going to come and save y'all? Tell the pharaohs to let his people go. Lead these niggas across the whole ocean. And then he know the whole time they following him. Nigga, he know the way. But then when he get to the promised land, when he leading them, nigga, you can't go in? Nigga, I'm not going in there. With, I'm not going in there, nigga. We've been following you since Egypt. Nigga, walked around 40. Nigga, we walked across the whole ocean. Walked around 40 years, nigga. We get to the final lesson. We finally realized that we was what we was looking for the whole time. Anyway, after 40 years, who does that? But anyway, after 40 years of walking around in circles, we finally realized that, hey, this is what we was trying to be the whole time. The door is right there. We just got to go through that bush. And Moses hit their ass with the, well, I'm, uh, I'm afraid this is as far as I can lead you. And he stepped to the side and, but y'all go in there. Guess what that in there was, y'all? Our, our reality, this realm, that was the end there. They went in that portal. And guess who Moses was? Guess who Moses was? Really? Lucifer. Because remember, Zeus is Satan. And Satan is the, is the, is the, the head leader the, the, that, that, that kicked off the war, that divided the God species amongst ourselves. But Satan's top lieutenant is Lucifer. He's the general of the whole army. They two different, them two different spirits and souls. Two different spirits and souls. So for motherfuckers to get in my university and think that I'm an atheist when I say fuck religion and fuck the Bible and fuck the Quran and fuck the Vatican and fuck Muhammad and fuck Virgin Mary and her mama and her daddy and that she was a hoe, she was fucking the whole village and fuck Jesus and fuck these prophets that you're looking up to I sound like some nut on YouTube to you. What you fail to realize is I'm, I'm an intellect for real. I'm a real life reader, man. What book you want to, what book you want to, what, what, what book you want to talk about? My master teacher for real, man. I'm divine insight. Grand master teacher of the eighth universe. I just came back to remind you who you is, man. Remind y'all who y'all is. See what I'm saying? Don't judge no book by its cover. I can talk to you on any level. I can break this shit down and talk to you straight hood street and I will flip it and get very technical. Use big words. Enunciate the English diction a little differently. 
the way corporate America likes it. Come on, man, I'm a jack all trades, man. So when I'm sitting here talking to y'all, right, I'm telling you that these human beings, they did not want to come out the cave. And they told you this in the Bible, in the story of the land of Canaan. They didn't want to come out the cave. They went into the portal. And once they came through the portal, the portal opened up for them in the Caucasus Mountains. All right. We have portals around this whole planet, all down in the ocean. All up in the sky, all this sky around you, because I told you the real sky y'all don't see because they're they're filling your sky with chemtrails every day. Because you are you are a god if you are full of carbon and neuromelanin. And if you are a human being, they still fear you, human being. Why? Because you are not a draconian reptilian and you are not a Pleiadian. You come from God, the EA. You still, you are half God, so that means half black people, white people, yes. Your poor white people and your middle class white people, y'all are half black people and you're half animal, nigga. That's what that means. So that means you belong to us, nigga. Which is why when you came out the fucking caves, nigga, all right, we didn't turn our back on y'all. Fuck what they taught y'all, because they taught y'all to hate the God race, the black people. And then they taught the God race to hate the white people. Which is the, the human beings, which is the poor and middle class whites. And then when I get on here and I go off on YouTube and Twitter, I might seem like that I'm promoting a black a race war, but that's not what I'm doing. I only speak intellectual, esoteric facts. All right? I'm not going to lie and say, yes, you're a human being. You are full of animal DE, DNA. All right? But you are also full of God DNA. You're half and half. And most of you tap into your animal D, DNA more. All right? All right, this is what really happens. This is what's going on. Meanwhile, the draconian reptilians, the motherfuckers who run everything, they sit back and, 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 and run everything. And what they do with you human beings, you, which is your poor whites and your middle class whites, these are your real human beings. All your rich whites, those are your races. All the motherfuckers that own corporate America, those are all your motherfucking racist hierarchy human beings that sold the fucking lower class human beings out. It's time to wake up. It's time to wake up, people. All right. You can't fall for the race war. You got to know that it's motherfuckers walking around that look like white people that are not white people. These are fucking Pleiadians. Pleiadians, matter of fact, if you see a Pleiadian, nigga, you ain't even going to know the difference between a Pleiadian and a human being. Mm -hmm. Nigga, and if you haven't been taught about metaphysics, if you don't know about you, where you come from, you ain't going to even know. Boy, so many beings walking amongst you, nigga. You think I'm from here, nigga. I ain't from here neither, nigga. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. We walk amongst you all day and you would think a nigga, oh, a nigga came out the pussy like me. Nigga came out the hospital like me. All of us ain't come here that way, man. It's really God's walking amongst you. It's real life satanic forces walking amongst you too. It's real life extraterrestrial presence all living amongst you. There's over a thousand extraterrestrial races living on your planet right now. I tell you this all the time. Okay? So... Let's stay focused here. When they was told to come out of the portals, they did not want to come out of the portals. They were scared. Why were they scared? Because when they looked out, they see how huge we were. They told you. Man, we saw ourselves as ants in their eyes. They were in the land of the Philistines. Philistines were giants. And the Philistines and the Nephilim are two different type of giants. Let's stop with the lies, History Channel. All right, y'all heard the History Channel version. All I'm asking is y'all to hear my version. We already heard History Channel version our whole life. We all know that, that story of Atlantis. But you're going to hear, let's, let's hear a God story of Atlantis. Without it filtered through the media. This is unfiltered media. All right? Let's not forget why they call it the media. Because the media comes from the word, the Greek enchantress Medea, who would manipulate her victims before she killed them and ate them. Just like the media does. That's where the media gets its name from. So when you come on this channel, this is unfiltered media. I'm not a sexist. I'm not a racist. I'm just going to give you the raw truth. Now, you can take it how you want after that. I don't give a fuck, nigga. Here. See what I'm saying? Don't tell nobody I was a racist. Just tell them he was a revolutionary that came back in the Nunakai God, a non ether being that came back to awaken the planet and remind them of who they are. Just like I tell y'all we need to go to war with the government and the police and all these world leaders. I also sit here and tell y'all that we need to merge with the animal kingdom. I sit here and tell you to speak to the animals, speak to the plants, speak to things, even things in your house, anything that takes up space. Love it. Give it positive energy. Don't just say, all right, it's a fucking ashtray and just throw it on the floor. 
that ashtray has spirit and soul. It has energy. It has life force in it. And when you learn to respect all life force around you, it is at that point that you master your environment. You are masters of the universe for real, man. You are guardians of the galaxy, man. Nine ether luminous beings. So this is why when they looked out that motherfucking cave, niggas was like, This can't be the promise land, nigga. I ain't going out there, nigga. You got me. I'm gonna fuck Moses didn't. Moses didn't fucked around and lied to us. <laughs> nigga, they turned. Nigga, they turned around and went back. They went back. Just they tell you in the Bible, they turned around and went back. I'm just connecting the real. I'm connecting the dots to letting you know, nigga. They went to know, nigga. The cave, nigga. The cave they picked that off was the Caucasus Mountains, and it's when human beings first landed on the planet. This when y'all was looking like animals. I'm talking to the real human beings, poor whites and lower class whites. This is when y'all was looking like animals. And we, black scientists, gods, non ether beings, Anunnaki, you hear me? We loved on y'all. We reverse engineered what Satan had done to you. That's why y'all walk straight today. Y'all stand up straight today and y'all can walk. Y'all can walk. Y'all can think. Y'all can separate y'all clothes. You know what I'm saying? Who you think taught you that? Who you think taught your forefathers that we did? But y'all forget that relationship because these draconian reptilians who pose as white human beings and they took all the world power positions and these Pleiadians who pose as human beings and these hierarchy human beings who sold out the lower class human beings. They the ones who run the world. They the so us guys can't tell the difference between y'all. See, you can't knock my species, right? They don't be knowing the difference between y'all. They can't tell the difference between a human being, mankind, a Pleiadian, and a draconian reptilian that has shape-shifted into, into a human form. They don't know that they have been lied to. They have never been taught metaphysics. They have been completely manipulated, drained of their history, drained of their essence. Their language has never even been given back to them. They still have their slave name. They still have their slave master last name. So you got to kind of forgive them. And then as far as, like, to my gods and goddesses, like, Y'all just, a lot of y'all remembering now, we, it's a grand awakening going on on the planet. And for us to unite, you got to realize the difference between the, the, the white people that's for us and the ones that's against us. You got to, it's a, it's a, it's a difference. Why I'm emphasizing that? Because once they launch this motherfucking fake alien invasion, they're going to run with a lot of bullshit. And that's why I had to speak about the Bermuda Triangle tonight. All right. Because it all goes back to them peeking out the caves. It goes back to them peeking out the caves. It goes back to the Pleiadians coming out the caves with them and saying, hey, we come in peace. All right. It all started. It all started. All right. Because they want to know why so many ships go missing in the Bermuda Triangle. Why so many planes have went missing in the Bermuda Triangle? Why so many people have went missing, never to be seen, seen or return ever again in the Bermuda Triangle? And now every video I look up, I be trying to look up and see if they gonna ever tell the truth. I haven't seen them tell the truth yet in the video about the Bermuda Triangle. First off, how can they? When they got you thinking that you're on Earth. When you're really on Atlantis. You don't hear me though. How can they tell you the truth about the Bermuda Triangle when they got you believing that you are on planet on a planet called Earth? When you're really on a plane called Atlantis that is a part of a planet called Kai. You don't hear me. It all started with them peeking out, peeking out the caves. They can't tell y'all the truth about the Bermuda Triangle. Nobody. Not, not you human beings. Because see, this is what I want the human beings to know. All the human beings are all the lower class, the poor, the middle class whites and the poor whites. You think they give a fuck about y'all? They got y'all thinking that though. And then Corona hit and they went upside some of y'all shit too now. Let's talk about it. Yes. See, you human beings think y'all royals, but you're not. You ain't shit but some poor white trash in them up there. You know that? You in the same boat as us down here. 
The only difference is they give you a little bit more privilege. They give you a little bit more privilege. They want to kill you when they pull you over. That's about it. But they still going to, you just, a pawn. They know at any moment, these guys is going to unleash a fury like no other on this planet. And for years, they have shown nothing but white faces hurting these gods. So you got all these guys walking around mad at white people not knowing the truth. You see how you've been used as live bait by your own people? I'm talking to human beings. Your people did that. We didn't do that. They set that up. I'm, I'm here to, to stop it from clashing like that so we can all come together and clash against them. That's what I'm telling you. Michael Jackson tried to tell you too. They don't care about us, nigga. If you're in the middle class and you're white, or you're poor and you're white, you are not a royal. Guess what your ancestors was, peasants. In Europe, before y'all came over here, y'all ancestors was peasants, nigga. They still treated, they were still shitting on y'all. And to all my white women, why is y'all even riding with them anyway? Y'all really should ride with the gods and goddesses, the blacks and Latinos. Because that white man has always mistreated his white woman. He never gave a fuck about y'all. Like I told him on Instagram, that ain't never been a black woman fight. Women's rights. Nigga, the black woman got mistreated like her man. That was always the white woman that was getting mistreated and was free. He didn't even want to have sex with you. He wouldn't have had sex with them slaves. I don't even know why you're still loyal to your white man, white woman. I'm just being honest with you. He would beat your ass on Christmas and then go give gifts to his male lover and have sex with him instead and get drunk. Let's not forget where Christmas really started from. Let's talk about it. Let's not forget what Christmas, how Christmas originated now. What would he do? He would get drunk, beat on you. That was part of the ritual. Whoop your ass good. Then leave out the house. Go give a gift to his male lover. Have sex with him. Over some eggnog. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Chess and nuts. Chess and nuts. There was a lot of chess and nuts going on when Christmas originated. Let's be real. So, think about it. White woman, you get mad at the black woman. Because every time you see her, you know your white man won't hurt. Is why we need to come together. Let's talk about it. Every time you see that black woman, every time a black woman make it in Hollywood, y'all be mad at her. Cause you know, yo, 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 I'm talking about, you know, you know, you see what I'm saying? You mad at the black chicks and the Latino chicks. You mad at them. When you should be mad at him. Because even when we was enslaved, he'd rather dip off in that barn and fuck that male slave in his ass or go be a pedophile like he still is today. All your world leaders are pedophiles. That's who I attack. The elite. The rich racist motherfuckers. The hierarchy human beings. The draconian reptilians. Posing as world leaders. Posing as bankers, nigga. That's who my war is with. And all the police and law enforcement that seek to protect them. If you're a real cop, you should say, fuck the, 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 the precinct, the country you work for, and start your own law enforcement agency and really protect the people. What's wrong with that? How about we completely separate away from America? I'm talking about, it ain't got to do no colors. If you're vibrating how we ain't fucking with America. We ain't fucking with, with, with Queen. We ain't fucking with the Vatican, none of them. They all, they all on the other side of the, them, the people that's, that's keeping the commotion going. I ain't never seen the Pope wear a cross other than when his ass go out there and act like he try to be God in front of y'all. And then you wonder why ships is missing over the Bermuda Triangle. Because there's a lot of lies that they got that ain't count, that ain't been a lot of truth that hasn't been told. When they peeked them head, they head out that caucus portal in the out that portal in the caucus mouth, they saw huge, not only us. They saw huge crystals. Structures so big, you, it would just baffle the mind a day. I can't even put it in words. Because it's, it's nothing on this planet that big. But we had huge pyramids, right? They saw all that. They were glowing. 
These pyramids were made out of crystals. Where you think all your crystals come from today? These are polished pieces. They don't look like this before they polish them. But guess what? Your crystal towers, why do they got the idea to polish them? Why do you think they have to even polish your crystal? Because in the raw form, in the raw form, the crystal is in its pure form of how it was when it was blew up during this great war, during the great invasion of 1492. And those raw forms are found in the ground. Look, man. I got a whole look, man. I'll show y'all something. Look, bro. I got a whole, a whole huge chunk. What you talking about? These are raw pieces that come out the ground. What is you talking about? I got a whole huge chunk right here, man. What is you talking about, man? You know what I'm saying? That's a thousand, that's a two thousand dollar piece right there, man. You know what I'm saying? Huge chunks. You hear me? Look, when they come out the ground, look, when you when they dig, let me show you something. Let me show you a polished. Let me get you guys up. Let me show y'all a polished clear quartz crystal. And let me show you one that's not. Okay, so look. This is a raw. Look, this is a raw clear quartz piece. Okay. This is how they look in the ground. See how they come? They don't have no structure to them. Why? Because they were part of huge structures originally and they were blew up. Just like if you blew up a brick house and pieces would go everywhere. So they were blew up. Then, once they get them out the ground, some people that are really into energy, they get them raw. If you know about real energy, you're going to get them raw. But even if you get them polished, it's the same thing. They just look better, but... Raw is still, to me, I like raw. But polished is still good too, right? So they take them from raw and then they polish them. But how do they know how to polish them though? How do they know how to get them like this? Because they were originally like this, nigga. Part of structures, nigga. And they remember that. They seen that because they took it from us. So once they blew everything up, they did look like this. They go scoop them out the ground and re-rock them back to this. Let me give you the history of this shit, right? So put this back on the thing. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, hold on. So, you feel me? So, these these pieces, right? These huge pieces, man. Right? These huge pieces. They come raw. So when they peek their head out that out that caucus, and this great war broke out on our planet in 1492 between us. The hierarchy of human beings, the Draconian Rotunas and the Pleiadians. They won that battle. So, now, when they won that battle, the, a battle you never know about because they never tell you about it. Because in 1492, they got you thinking that that's when Columbus discovered America. You see what I'm saying? They don't tell you about the great invasion of 1492. They tell you about Columbus discovering a whole new world. You're right. He did go to a whole new world. He definitely went to a whole new world. Because guess what? Guess who was the lead in it, the leader pilot in that fleet that found the, that went through the portal? Christopher Columbus. That's why they still to this day give him respect. Because Christopher Columbus was leading the fleet of sh spaceships that came through the original portals. In the Caucasus Mountains. And when they came, they came in the same regular airplanes you see today. The same helicopters and the same um, airplanes you see today that people fly when they hop in, that's what they came in. They got you thinking the Wright brothers created the planes. More lies. Those planes come from Egypt, not the country. Because remember, this was planet Kai, nigga. We don't know nothing about no motherfucking Egypt. Egypt wasn't on this planet, nigga. There's a planet called Egypt. They hijacked those planes from the planet Egypt. 
Facts. Okay. I'm giving you cosmic information right now. FBI know this. CIA know this too. They killed William Cooper for the same shit I'm telling y'all right now. You hear me? Listen, man. The planes you see, the 757, the Boeing engine, the jets and shit that you get on every day, even the ones you travel through an airplane, yes, those planes. The Wright brothers ain't created them. It was all a lie. They went back in time because time don't exist, so they were able to go back into it. Remember, they created it and wrote themselves into the history and got you thinking they was here the whole motherfucking time. Nigga, they, nigga, they just got here, nigga. All this shit of Egypt they tell you about, nigga, that shit was like last week. The pharaohs and all that shit was like last week, nigga. Ain't no time. It's an illusion. They got you thinking this shit that was going on in Egypt with the pyramids was 6,000 years ago. Nigga. If you do want to put a year on it, it was about 250 years ago. That's why you still see pyramids right now. In Egypt. Because they ain't been there that long. That wasn't that long ago, nigga. That wasn't that long ago. It was not as long as you think. When they be out on the History Channel, dinosaurs existed 80 million years ago. Years aren't even real, boy. They are lying. They created the Gregorian calendar. A man created the Gregorian calendar that you use today to count time. Let me blink on that. Uh, 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 to be exact, a draconian reptilian created time. The time you count today, yeah, you know, 60 seconds in a minute. It's 60 seconds in a minute. It's 60 minutes in an hour. It's 24 hours in a day. It's seven days in a week. It's four weeks in a month. It's 12 months in a year. It's 365 days in a year. Except for leap years, 366. Who taught you that? Who told you that? Who told you that? And if that is true, they set time back eight years. So how old are you really right now? Everybody's eight years younger than they age right now. Because the Gregorian calendar was set back eight years purposely. That's what they said. Go research it. So now we're all eight years younger. Hmm. I've been told y'all, nigga, name the eighth day. That's my theory. Rashad Jamal, that's his own theory. Nigga, name the eighth day. You can't name it. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Ain't nobody did it yet. Ain't nobody did it yet. And we cannot recycle days because I can't do that with money. So if I can't do that with money, we're not going to do it with days. Don't fuck with me. Right. Time doesn't exist. It's an illusion. A spell. Because with time, the belief of time, remember, whatever you believe, you create. You make it real because you believe in it. That's the secret. In anything, for anything to be real, it needs your belief. If you don't believe in it, it doesn't exist. If you believe in it, it do. So, those pyramids in Egypt that you can still see today, the story of mold, all this bullshit, they, all that Bible shit don't even exist. That, that's all a lie anyway. But, this is why you can go to the Egyptian tombs and dig up pharaohs and dig up certain, certain, um, what they want to call it, grave sites. And even that is being whitewashed through the media. To the point where some of you can sit here and accept this enlightenment. While others can sit here and not. They might be sitting here, but they might not can't accept it. See what I'm saying? But it's the truth. And 
the reason I'm, I'm I focused in on time and things of that nature is because in 1492 wasn't that long ago. We go off energy cycles. We never had time. Just like we never had winter. It's not natural to the planet. That's why everything dies. We never had time and we never had winter, nigga. And it was never cold. It's cold nowhere. It's warm all in the cosmos. It's only cold on planet Nern because then we have two moons, no sun. The moon is anti-photon energy technology. They created it. We have a sun. We created the sun. We give life to the sun. And the, life, and the sun gives us back that same life. No different than a, than a parent loving a, creating a child and loving on that child. And then once that child gets old enough, now he love back or she love back and take care of that parent. That's our relationship with the sun. We created that sun. We taught it to rise. We gave it the, we gave it the, 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 the energy leverage to rise. We placed it in the sky. We taught it how to shine bright. We gave it its chromo spear. We enumerated the dimensions and set aside nine planes to every planet. You know, we did that. We created the animals. We created all these things around us. So when they talk about 1492, Columbus came, that never happened in 1492. If you want to call it that, I would say that was the great invasion. That's when the great invasion started, which was led by Christopher Columbus. Which is why to this day, they still celebrate his motherfucking day. Cause he was the, he had the, he had the nuts to come through that portal of the gods on planet Kai. He had the nuts to go to the planet of the gods on planet Kai. That's why Christopher Columbus gonna always get stripes with those draconian reptilians. That's why they make your ass celebrate Columbus Day every year, nigga. Yes, they do, nigga. Kids out of school, you might not even have to go to work. They make that's how they make you celebrate. It. You're off work. After making you slave for them. And see, you don't remember how the planet was and how we had built these beautiful, huge pyramid structures and spears like this spear. Spears create a lot of energy. Spears create vortexes and, py and, and pyramids, vortexes of energy. So that's all we was, we was dealing with, high frequencies of energy. And after they destroyed everything... One of our ancient, one of our ancient most powerful titans named Ocean was fucking them up. And it was like they destroyed our energy towers, they then they cut the trees down. Because when they destroyed our energy towers, that, that broke our communication. Because we had crystals that would, that would be circled around our pineal glands. Just like vision off the Avengers. That's where they get it from. We used to walk around on this planet like an avatar. The whole planet would light up as we walk in it. And we had crystals, different types, that would circle the pineal gland. And it had chips in them. And it would connect us to these huge energy towers. And we had this unlimited database. This is why we would speak using telepathy. We didn't have words or none of that. It was all electricity. This is metaphysics. This is the true history of, this, of planet Kai. We had cities of electricity. The forest was seeing beautiful frequencies. The trees used to sing. All your mountains are actually tree stumps. This was a beautiful, a beautiful forest, man. Huge, beautiful forest, luscious, man. Words can't describe the way this planet used to look. Before this invasion. We had no money system. They wrote all that in history to make you think money and, and killing each other is cool. Over it. Or working for it. We, we had no money because what the fuck we need money for when we manifest everything. And then we created the earth. And we gave her the ability to nurture and fertilize. So far as any type of fruits you want, that throw out the earth naturally. Think about it. Everything that you're eating right now or that you're paying for, even your cloth, which you're not supposed to wear, but they make us wear cloth, which has cotton in it that comes from the planet. You're going to grocery store to buy fruit that grow that you can grow on your own. You're, we're, we, we pay for bottles of water. All right. So we had no need for money then because everything still to this day grows in abundance. It's just they got it and then they make you pay for it and they dish it out a little bit. If you ain't got no money, we ain't giving you none. If you ain't got no money, when this look, look, this the whole planet, they cuffed it. The planet still pushes out abundance. They just got it. 
Like, shit, you ain't got no money. You can't get no gold. You want a gold chain? Niggas, it's going to cost you a million dollars. Why, nigga? Gold, grow, gold is a natural crystal of the earth. Gold is a lower form of copper. It's a normal mineral of the planet. Why can't? Why do we gotta pay for gold, nigga? This, don't this shit grow like this? These I got diamonds in my ear. I got S. I got SI diamonds. SI and VVS. SI and VS diamond. I said VVS. SI and VS diamond. SI and VS half and half. But guess what? That still hit me. I said to pay for that. Diamonds are crystals that grow in the earth. Diamonds are crystals. Y'all didn't know that? That's the weakest crystal, though. A diamond is the... This is a clear quartz. A clear quartz is stronger. A diamond is part of the quartz family. Let me put y'all on game real quick. Free gems. A diamond is part of the quartz. This is a clear quartz right here. Diamond is part of the quartz family, and it's the weakest quartz, nigga. It's the weakest quartz. But they got us spending millions on diamonds. This is the weakest quartz. A low ass frequency comes off this. You're gonna get a way higher frequency off this clear quartz, and you're gonna be able to manifest way more for yourself than you can with a goddamn diamond, nigga. Just like copper is gonna elevate you and magnify your intent or any electricity that you're building up more than gold will, nigga. All right. We're getting deeper here. We're getting closer to the Bermuda Triangle. We're getting closer to the Atlantic Ocean. Let's dive deeper. <laughs> Let's dive deeper. Hey, the elites is watching this live right now, y'all. They sweating, y'all. They're like, God damn it, we didn't kick this nigga off for a week. He came back overcharged. We kicked him off for a week. He didn't came back suited and booted. We kicked the nigga off for a week. He came back like Jordan in 95. <laughs> nigga, we kicked him off for a week. He came back with three ships in a row. You know what I'm saying? They tried to kick me off for a week, y'all. They thought I was gonna come back with some light sauce. I'm like, oh, they wanna fuck around. Oh, okay. I could have been here. I could have been dropped this lecture. Y'all want to play? I'm going to heat this bitch up. I mean, if y'all going to, if I'm going to get kicked out of YouTube, I'm going out the gangster way, nigga. If YouTube going to kick me off, they told me I can't talk about Hot Sauce 19 no more, y'all. I got to say Hot Sauce 19. Look at that. I already feel like they hoeing me. I can't even say Corona in the video. They might block me. I might have just risked it right there, nigga. But guess what? Now, a thousand motherfuckers just heard what I was saying, and I ain't even done yet if they don't kick me off. Nigga, if they're going to kick me off YouTube, I'm going out with a bang, nigga. That's all I'm saying. Now, you know what they did, y'all? All they did was make me want to drop nothing but super hot sauce every single time I get on, nigga. You hear me, nigga? That's all they did. Like, hold on, nigga. I'm trying to build, I'm trying to lead them lightly into this shit. But I will, I will drop buckets of truth on their ass. Don't do it. Boy, I will, when I get off this bitch, nigga, y'all ain't got a word, nigga. They gonna be at the front office at every motherfucking city hall of every town, nigga. Don't fuck with me. You hear me, nigga? I know penal codes, nigga. I know what aldermans is doing what, what mayors is going to what functions and do. Hey. All right? All right? Keisha Bottoms, Lori Life Up. Call them all out. I know who's in on these child trafficking, proposing like African-American women, acting like they with the team when they're really not with the dream team. You with them people. All right. But let's stay focused. Let's get back to the ocean. And in case they try to block this, block me again, I got my own website, www.theuci.online. Everybody in the comments, drop that shit. Let them know if you in the Cosmo University. Let them know. And I'm on Instagram. Y'all got to catch me while I'm on here, y'all. They put me in the Nelson for telling y'all this type of shit. I came here willing to risk it all tonight. I feel like Kanye. Remember when he got on the stage at his last performance? He was like, look, y'all, I've been sitting here tonight. <laughs> even at the risk of my own freedom. Even at the risk of my own life. That's how he got on stage. And we Kanye ain't been the same since, nigga. Nigga, the next day, they was talking about he checked in. Nigga ain't checking shit. He told their ass the real. And they cloned him and they put his ass on the MK Ultra. That's what happened. And they showed you that and get out. Remember when the black dude woke up? He tried to tell him. They took him to the back. They MK altered him, brought him back out. He was cool again. That's what they did to Kanye. They won't do that to me. I'm going out the gangster way. All right? So let's get back to the ocean. Get back to the ocean, y'all. Now, it's, it's important to understand that, that the power of crystals, right? Because it plays a part in why the fuck planes are disappearing in the Bermuda Triangle. So, when they, so remember I, talk, I was talking about this war, 1492. And 
they destroyed everything on the planet. Now, one of our most powerful titans name was Ocean. He comes from the liquid families or he's part of the liquid spirits. OK, so you got beings that when they animate, everybody don't take on the physical for a solid form. Some beings, spirits and souls animate liquid form. Some beings, spirits and souls just spirits and souls just animate purely the gas form. OK, this is metaphysics. This is true. This is how they are able to keep the elemental beings from you. Like embers, the embers, like, for example, embers actually have spirit and soul. Yes, the embers on the flame. And you never noticed that. But if you was to like start a fire with, a, with, a, with like a start a fire or just light strike a match and pay attention to the embers, how they move and dance. I because the ember is completely separate. The flame is one part. The ember is a whole different thing. Right. An ember is part of the elemental beings family, even the water. The water has these water spirits that dance on top of the water. Once the sun flicker off, it look like the lights reflecting. Y'all have seen that when y'all at the ocean, when y'all have seen like you at the beach and you see like all that light glaring off the water. Boy, them are the water spirits, nigga. They mean, that ain't no light glowing. You're seeing their luminous body radiating, but you have been lied to about the elemental beings. So you don't know that. You know what I'm saying? But all of these beings exist, right? All of these beings are part of this frequency of this planet that we created. All right? So, when they was destroying everything, Ocean was one of the last titans left that was like, because we gods. Ocean is a titan. Although we are gods, and some of us are considered titans because you have the titans. You got the gods, all right? But then you got titans. Titans had titans merged with gods. So then you got some spirits that are that some souls are half and half, half titan, half god. Like we merged together because we pretty much the same thing. You know what I'm saying? We, we pretty much the same thing. The titans was just like a force, whereas the gods, we are like the actual embodiment of the force. If that if that if that if that loses you, it's okay, because it's like that when we go deep. All right, so now. We had a giant, listen, like one of our most powerful, okay, one of our most powerful pyramids that we had was made out of labradite and lapis lazuli, okay? Let me show y'all something. Let me show y'all something. So, let me show y'all something. Now, we had this huge, we had this huge giant. We had this huge giant pyramid. It was an actual pyramid, but it was more like a macabre. So, a macabre is when you got a triangle, one point up, one point down. It makes what you all know as uh, the, the, you call it the Star of Israel. All right? And if you from the streets, gang members call it like a six-point star or something like that. But... We had this huge pyramid, and it was made out of two of the most powerful stones, I mean, crystals out there that you can come across. Lapis lazuli, this is lapis lazuli, and labradite, okay? Lapis lazuli and labradite, two of the most powerful crystals you can come across, especially if you know how to tap into the energy of them, all right? This was, like, very, very, even if you go look up in, like, England, after it, after we fell in frequency, they always want to get their hands on some lapis lazuli or some, because they know what the crystals do, right? Even though they can't tap into them like us, only we can do that, all right? But, but though, all right. Now, this huge pyramid was used was used to keep ocean tied down, locked to the earth. So we always had riverbeds and we always had different bodies of water. Yes, but we didn't have no ocean. 
the actual ocean we see, Atlantic Ocean, Pacific Ocean, all these big oceans. We had seas. We didn't have oceans, right? That's our actual, that's the body of our one of our titans named Ocean, who was like an ancestor too, all right? So when we was in this big war, they used that giant pyramid to lock, like they drove ocean body in the middle of the war. They drove his ocean, ocean's body through the pyramid. So imagine a huge pyramid and a body of water being driven through it. Now that body of water was being driven through it, and that where the, the tip of the pyramid was used to hold the body of water in place. So that body of water that's hold that's being held in place is ocean. And the oceans of today is being held in place by this giant pyramid. And this giant pyramid is located in the Bermuda Triangle. It's under the water. Right? Now, why is that important? Because this whole planet that you think. So when you think of the planet, you were taught in school that the planet is North America, South America, Africa, Europe. Russia, Asia, Australia, Antarctica. But in reality, in reality, in reality, this is one whole plane surrounded by three walls of ice. You can pull up the ice map. I'll pull it up for you all real quick right now if you've never seen the ice map of how your planet really looks. But I'll pull it up. I'll pull it up for you. So you can see how your plant your your plant your your plane looks some of y'all should might have seen it some of y'all might not have seen this before all right but it's many maps they've made many 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 maps all right most of them are inaccurate most of them are exaggerated they've really exaggerated the drawings the sizes the, the cities the locations they lied about everything um, I got a lecture coming up um soon on, on Arizona I let I was telling people that Arizona is Africa so I got a lecture coming up on that uh, but let me show you out a, the, a map of 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 how the, of how the plant the planet really looks. And when you Google most of this stuff. Cause Google, Google, um, Google like really um censors a lot of searches. Searches like they really filter their search engine out real heavy. So it be intense when you trying to find like um ancient maps, but you can find them. You just gotta you just gotta keep digging. Um, you can find them. They out there though. But this plane is one whole plane. Uh, and then it's surrounded by three ice rings. And those ice rings are separating the, those ice rings are separating um individuals, separating us from other individuals, more gods and goddesses, so so to say. You know what I'm saying? Um See, like, my, my laptops be filtered out heavy. Like, they be prying in my shit every time I'm trying to pull something up to show y'all. Either I don't find it. Either I don't find it now or that make it hard to find.
Let me see. I think I know what I gotta go to. Uh, you can see. I want to show you Atlantis real quick. A lot of y'all already know, but many don't. But I really want to show y'all Atlantis. Yeah, it ain't. They they on some bullshit on my. They on some bullshit on my um. So basically, the way your plan, your the way the the way the planet set up, it don't look like a globe. It's not a it's not a globe like this. Okay, so on the outside it is you have your planet as a globe. It's a vortex of energy fields, but it is consisted of nine different planes. All right, and these planes, each plane, <coughs> each plane, thank you, <coughs> each plane, so to say, has its own rules, its own regulations, its own map. Now, on this plane specifically where we are, they have always showed it to you as looking like a globe. And then they tell you, hey, it's just seven, these seven continents or whatever on them. But in reality, we are surrounded by a vortex, a sphere of energy. That's true. A globe of energy. That's true. So you can look at it like this, but we inside of that. So you got to be asking yourself, how does your planet look? How does the plane look? You're inside of the plane. So the actual plane is like a pancake. It's forever. And you have been circled inside one little circle of the, of the plane. You have been set inside. We sit inside one little circle of the plane. All right. And this is where your little seven continents is located inside this little circle. And we are, we, are surround, we are literally surrounded by a wall of ice, all right? This is the great ice wall of, of Antarctica that everybody talks about, all right? Even the military did a fake stage um, operation trying to act like they don't know what's going on called Operation High Jump. Because, see, that's what the government do. Like, they, the government worked for the elite. So they can't make... The government is owned and ran by the elites. Remember, America and the government over here in our country, in America, it's a, it's a corporation. Every government in every country is a corporation. And they all check in with the global elite all right so they had to stage it and make it seem like they didn't know what the fuck was going on and they called it operation high jump and they called itself going to antarctica the military did it acting like they was trying to get over the ice wall like they know what the hell is going on they know why it's an ice wall they put it the motherfucking ice wall there the whole ice wall is nothing but the dead bodies of our ancestors all the people that were killed in the original battle of 1492 are laying right there in that ice that ice is composed of nothing but carbon. Go look it up. They tell you the ice sheets of Antarctica is melting. They are full of carbon. Once all that carbon is released while they melt, what happens? More water, right? That's what they talk about. Like the big fifth of Antarctica, they're trying to make it sound like they don't know why the ice walls is melting. All right? So, anywho, this is your plane. This is how Atlantis looks, okay? So, now, your realm... The realm you are in right now on this planet is called Atlantis. Okay? This is Atlantis, y'all. This is not the world. This is not Africa. This is not Europe. This is not Earth. Earth is on NERN. NERN, NERN is another word for Earth. All right? This is planet Kai. And you live on a realm within it. Surrounded. You live on a plant. You live in a realm with four realms above you, four realms under you. And you are and all nine of your realms are surrounded by one big vortex, one big, big sphere of energy. That's what the fuck a planet is. Okay? So, why is that imperative to know? Why is it important to know? Because. When they were destroying us in this war, they was fighting us in this war. One of the most strongest warriors was the Titan Ocean. They had to literally drive his body through something to keep it down, to keep him from rising again during that war, during this battle. All right? And he has a liquid base. He comes from a liquid base. So liquid is hard to hold down. Right? So what did they do? 
they used the Moors who they had already put under a spell because the Moors are the ones that gave them the access codes to the ancient technology we had called Macurbas that they used to push our sun away, to blow up our crystal towers, to cut down our trees. All right, they used our own technology against us to do that. All right, the Moors didn't try to do that, but the Moors were put under a spell. That's why the Moors were the ones that helped them build up Europe because after the Great Invasion, they had they started to build up their own version of what they wanted on this planet, and it started with Europe, and they were using our very own to do that. The Moors are the ones that wrote the, wrote, wrote the Declaration of Independence. The Moors are the ones that wrote the Constitution for them. The Moors are the ones that built out the cathedrals in Europe for them. All this took place while they were put heavily under a spell. They broke that spell, though. And after they bro broke that spell, then that's when Europe went to war with the Moors. Look it up. Look it up. You think I'm lying? Look it up. If you think I'm lying, look it up for yourself. At least on the part about the Moors, about Europe going to look up the war with the with Europe had with they with the Moors. I'm just telling you how I got to that point. Because that's when the Moors broke out of the spell, nigga. They had them under the spell the whole time. Once they stepped out of once they snapped out of the spell, they went right to war with them, but it was too late by then. They didn't already help them destroy the whole, conquer the whole fucking planet. You know what I'm saying? But you have a Macurba sitting right there off in between what they call Bermuda. And then even that landmass of Bermuda, Miami, all of that was the capital of Atlantis. Like, let me tell you something. Did you know from... From Georgia, like Georgia, because Florida sits right under Georgia. Let me put y'all on game, all right? Georgia, Florida sits right on, under Georgia. Where's the Bermuda Triangle located at, y'all? Off, off the tip of Miami, right? All the way, basically, to Bermuda, all the way down to Puerto Rico. That whole little triangle forms the Bermuda Triangle, all right? They, so, now, Florida is right under Georgia. So, let me tell it to you. The capital of Atlantis, now that y'all know the whole realm. So that means Europe, all this shit is Atlantis originally. All right, this realm. Now, where Georgia, the state of Georgia is that over here, Atlanta, Georgia, that's all jo Atlanta. That's why it's called Atlanta. And it's on the 33rd parallel, which is one of the most powerful veins on the planet because this was the capital of our realm, Atlantis. And our capital stretch, nigga. It, it was all of Georgia, all of Florida. All the way, all the way to motherfucking Bermuda, all the way down to Puerto Rico, all the way back up to Georgia. That whole triangle was all the capital of Atlantis, nigga. That's what they not telling you. They don't tell you that. They just make it seem like niggas has disappeared. They don't want to tell you that. And that was all the capital. And we had a huge pyramid that we created out of two of our most strongest energy structures. Labradite and Lapis Lazuli, which is why to this day, Labradite is expensive as fuck because it is known as the magical stone because it is. Look at it. And people will get it right and not even know how to activate it. They won't know what to do. They just have it and collect it. Look, and they know that. They know that. And they'll never tell y'all really about it. They got people making videos, don't know nothing about this shit, all on YouTube lying to you. But look, you see this? Well, you can tap into all that. You see this? Like, these are real properties in here that they ain't gonna never tell you about. They just gonna let you, these are crystals. I mean, with any of them, though, all of them, even this, all of them, though, crystals are weapons, boy. And you playing with a high frequency of weapons when you're dealing with crystals because you can use them for good or bad. Most people don't know that yet. Most people don't know that yet, but oh, when they find out. Right now, it's, be, it's getting in just to wear them. That's how it starts. People gonna start tapping in in a minute. Activating them in a minute. All right. So we got this giant pyramid on our and that we had in our headquarters. And when the whole war broke out, they was trying to destroy that pyramid, but they couldn't. They couldn't destroy it. Out of all the ones they destroyed, they could not destroy that one. It's still there right now, nigga. It's still there right now, nigga. So what they had to do was this. They couldn't destroy the pyramid, y'all. So what they did was during the war. Right? They were trying, they flushed it out using the body of ocean.
They drained him into it, used the spell to lock him into the earth to keep the. So basically, the ocean that we see is his back. The ocean that we see is the back of his of his, his ocean is an actual entity. That's his back. His front is facing the, the, the soil, so you can't see him. It's locked into the to the earth. So all you see is his back. Right? So when we riding on the ocean and we riding on boats, we're riding on his back. Right? This is a fact, right? All liquid formations submit to him. You know how they told you about Aquaman in comics and shit like that? That's not more than the story of ocean. Aquaman is the story of ocean. It's the whitewashed story of ocean who still exists. All right? So, he's locked into the planet through this pyramid that they're using to hold him there. And there's only a, it's only a spell that they had been using to hold him there. And to hold this pyramid there. All right? So, that's why you don't see, the people don't see the pyramid. People don't see the pyramid because most people is not in that little triangle part right there. And then you got the people that go through there. And when they go through there, they are not aware of the pyramid. And they're not aware that this pyramid still have, retains all of its original frequency. All of its original energy, the Bermuda Triangle, the pyramid, it's a huge pyramid, it still retains it. So when the, um, when the human being um, who actually, who actually... Was a Pleiadian who had who had went against the grain. Y'all heard of what's his name, Casey? It was a human being that he came out like in the 40s or the 50s. He's known as a psychic. He was real popular. Some some Casey, I forget. But yeah, about him, he was really a Pleiadian who turned against the Pleiadians and then he started exposing the truth. So that's how he knew all that. But yes, he had it right when he said it was a pyramid under that ocean, but he don't know the details of it. But yeah. That's the pyramid. And I'm telling you what it was what it was composed of. You know what I'm saying? And it was and we used this pyramid. It was it was really a macabre. It's a pyramid and a macabre. So it can travel, it can move. So what happens is, if you notice about the Caribbean, that's the only part left of this planet that still retains just a, just a little bit of its beauty. Listen, your whole planet looked like the Caribbean look. All the water everywhere, all the rivers, all the lakes. You know how pure. Don't just like water in the Caribbean, Caribbean water. It be that color. Caribbean water be that color. Don't it all. That's how your water was everywhere in the planet. All over the planet. Everywhere. Your water was this color like it be in the Caribbean. Your water is polluted now. So that's why the only place left to look like that is the Caribbean. But why? The only reason the Caribbean has the water can't be polluted in the Caribbean is because that is the gateway to the exit portal of this planet. So the sun in the Caribbean forms forms an electric barrier around it. And you still have that huge ass pyramid because remember the Caribbean, the capital of the Caribbean was was Atlantis. Was I mean was was it's really Atlanta. Atlanta, Atlanta, Georgia, Miami, all the way to Bermuda. Down to Puerto Rico, that whole triangle is really the capital of the whole Atlantis. So in that triangle where that pyramid is at, where they couldn't remove it, they just kind of sunk it using one of our own titans. So they kind of killed two birds with one stone. But every so often, because that sun is there and that pyramid is there, it's protecting the pyramid in the Bermuda Triangle is what keeps all the water in the Caribbean blue. That's why the Caribbean never loses its beauty because of this pyramid that's in the water in the ocean. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's like having it's like having Kool-Aid on a stick and then you dip it inside the water. That shit gonna spread throughout your whole water bottle. The whole water bottle got Kool-Aid in it. So, the Caribbean retains its beauty because of this pyramid that's centered in what y'all think is called the Bermuda Triangle. In this pyramid, we used to use this pyramid to travel to different galaxies and gateways and dimensions and realities and alternate universes. It leads to different space highways, it leads to different wormholes. And if you don't know about astral projection, and you don't know about the interstellar travel, 
which most of you don't remember because you've been lied to while under like whole lockdown here. They got the lower class. They got the human beings fighting the gods and the gods fight. They got the gods fighting the gods and they got the gods fighting the human beings. So it's so much division that y'all can't see the bigger picture and come together to kick the fucking invaders off the planet, which is these draconian reptilians. These are all your rich races elite. Your lower, your poor white people and your middle class white people, y'all human beings, y'all supposed to be on one accord with the with the blacks who are the gods and goddesses, and y'all supposed to fight against them. The the hierarchy, like I said, they made a deal with the insectoids and the greys in the 60s when they met face to face back then with the president and them. That's what Kennedy got killed for, because he was trying to expose that. He found out that they sold the human beings out. That's why that's when they elect, agreed to let the insectoids and the greys start abducting human beings. To start doing experiments on them. On them. Okay, they, they wasn't abducting no rich human beings. That's the hierarchy. Those are the ones who are the elite. They end on it with the reptilians. They didn't abduct them. They came and abducted you. You poor white human beings. You middle class human beings. So this is why. And they taught you to, to hate the black people who are gods anyway in this day planet. So y'all walk around feeling like more privileged. And then you, you hating the black people because you was taught that hate. And they turn around and teach the black and Latino people to hate each other. So blacks and Latinos don't even want to get along. And then the blacks don't want to get along because they got them hating each other. Meanwhile, they sit back, the draconian reptilians and the Pleiadians, and they got all these facades set up so they can just drain our planet of abundance and energy. They drain the planet of resources, nigga. They don't care about no money. You, They make you care about money. Nigga, they come and get our crystals, our water, our air, our land, our souls, and our spirits. They want the resources because they are the true pirates of the galaxy. These draconian reptilians and Pleiadians, that's what they do. They go planet to planet, galaxy to galaxy, draining motherfuckers of resources. They fear me because I come from the eighth universe and I returned here to help awaken the whole planet. I'm here to unite the gods and the goddesses with the human beings so that we can go to war with the fucking draconian reptilians who have invaded your planet, who poses all your world leaders. These other motherfuckers kidnapping y'all kids, eating y'all kids, created a fake virus called Hot Sauce 19 and took your jobs. And I'm asking all my white people tonight that's in here listening, human beings, stop me when I'm lying. You thought you was more privileged, didn't you? Until, until they hit you with that pandemic, they took your job too. Made your ass stay in the house too. Man, I seen y'all out y'all was out there marching like us. Nigga, matter of fact, nigga, y'all was harder than us about, about that hot sauce 19. Let us out. Last May, y'all, they was out there. See what I'm saying? Yeah, listen. They never gave a fuck about none of us. They never gave a fuck about none of us. And see, so when I sit and talk, I'd be like, if you vibrating low, your ass is, you got, you got to go. If you're vibrating low, it don't matter about your color. It doesn't matter about the color. See, that's what they get you. It's not about your race. It's not because you got, you got gods that are vibrating low. That's how Satan, Satan was an example. Satan was a god. He looked just like me. He looked just like any black person you see. If he was a man, he's a god and what he do? He started the whole shit, nigga. So you, that should tell you right there, nigga. It ain't about whether you're a god or a goddess or a human being or any of that. It's about where you vi how you're vibrating. What's your intent? Intent is the secret of magic. And they are using magic against you. They are casting spells over you. They are sending EMF waves through your houses. They are watching you through your cell phones. They are watching you through their putting fucking tracers and trackers in your toasters. And all the shit they selling you, they watching you more than ever because it's a great awakening. We are rising. You get what I'm saying? The draconian reptilian stronghold is breaking down. And because we are coming together and rising, that's why they be kicking me off YouTube. They don't want me doing that. They only talking this real shit. They want y'all to think the Bermuda Triangle just some, some, some mysterious shit where planes disappearing. Yeah, nigga, because when they riding in there, they ride. They, and then, then, hold on, check this out. You got motherfuckers that be like, well, I rolled through there and ain't nothing happened to me. Because I be reading the comments on the videos, on the Bermuda Triangle videos. You know why ain't nothing happened to, to you? Because guess what? The, the, the dimension only opens when the sun is set at a certain rate in the sky on a certain energy cycle. So once that portal, once the sun, once the rays emit... At a certain time, which I'm not going to say, and it does it every time on, on point, if you so happen to be riding through the Bermuda Triangle and you are vibrating low, then you will be cast to the lowest dimension. You go right to the first universe. To Neverland. See what I'm saying? 
to Neverland, the real Neverland, first universe, 999 galaxy, last planet in the 999, that's where they go. Tell these people the truth. Y'all know this, America. Y'all know this. Why y'all making all these videos lying to these folks, man? FBI, would y'all tell these people the truth? <laughs> Niggas ride through there when the when they ride through there when the energy off that pyramid is hitting the sun. And if you ride through there, if you ride through there when the, if the sun doesn't align and hit the pyramid, which it can hit the pyramid straight through the water. That's why the water in the Caribbean is so clear like that. It's all because of the pyramid that's still there. If they never destroy it, that will be rising again very soon. Because we are awakening. It took our awakening to make that pyramid rise. It's a lot going on that they're not telling y'all about. But So, if you ride through there, when the crumble spirit of the sun reflects off the water at a certain rate, at a certain hertz, at a certain vibration, and you just happen to be a boat or a plane, which most of these people were doing, they were riding through when we were going, when, when the pyramid is activated. It, that basically activates the pyramid in the elemental water spirits. In the elemental wa water spirits, they dance on the water and they communicate back with these with the with the pyramid and the pyramid under the water is intelligent it has intelligence in it because it has crystals in it and all crystals have soul and spirit in them what do you think make it why do you think the crystals so powerful these are entities in here these are principalities spiritual forces are in these crystals that's what make them powerful listen they are, you, you got to talk to your crystals. They alive, they more alive than you. Your crystal is more alive than you. It feels more than you. It is aware of more than you. So when these elemental water spirits communicate back with that crystal underwater, remember that pyramid is one huge crystal made of lapis lazuli and labradorite. Which is why, right now, lapis lazuli and labradorite is two of the most rare and expensive crystals along with malachite. Okay. Not to mention the pyramid under the water has a malachite base. Because that's how we build it. And when you ride through that motherfucker, the, the pyramid remembers the war. The pyramid is aware. You have beings that are a full aware that this planet was hijacked. So if you go through there and you and your, your vibration ain't right. And you get cast to the first universe. And some people, they get a second chance. As they riding through them portals and they seeing the light, the sky light up, they get they get presented with a with a with a chance. Some people don't catch it, some do. The ones who catch it, we let them out. The ones who don't, we 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 keep them in. See what I'm saying? It's like a Venus fly trap. Feel me? And it's also the one, the one spot where ocean can really communicate and make things happen too when all this is going on. But if you go through there with a high vibration, ain't nothing going to happen to you. That's what they're not telling you. Did they go straight to the first, the first universe? Neverland. That's where they get the name from. Most of these crystals, it's a, all these planets are named after, most of the crystals are named after planets they came from. Tourmalines. It's a group of extraterrestrial beings called the Termins on planet Tourmaline. And then they then you see people wearing Tourmalines and you don't even know why they call that because Tourmalines were created by the Termins. Aventurine, which is another crystal, was invented, was it was invented by the Avians. And I'm not talking about the blue avians. The blue avians is a completely different species than the than the avians. It's so many extraterrestrial races out here, man. They didn't, have, they didn't hear from y'all. So many, the Orions, Orion's Belt. Why do you think they call it that? Exit Earth and enter reality. This is the truth about the Bermuda Triangle, what they won't tell you. They can't tell you that. Because then they got to explain how the fuck the pyramid got there. They got to explain a whole bunch of stuff. They got to let you know why the water so clear in the Caribbean. Why the whole planet fucked up but the Caribbean? The Caribbean always on point. Nigga, it's on point to the point where it's like a tourist destination. What the fuck? You never thought about that. You never thought about that. Nigga, I don't get, nigga it could be the whole world could be fucked up in the Caribbean. Still be beautiful. Nigga, fuck what time of the year you go there. You never thought about that. Because of the pyramid... In the, in the Bermuda Triangle. 
in Bermuda is is bigger than just Miami, Cuba. I mean, Cuba is bigger than Miami, Bermuda, and Puerto Rico. Bermuda goes from, it starts from Georgia. So in Atlanta, Georgia is the exact heart of the capital of Atlantis. Which is why they called it Atlanta, Georgia. Which is why they named it the Atlantic Ocean. It's been beautiful reflection. Let that suck on y'all soul, man. Let that suck on y'all soul. We'll be back on YouTube in two days. Peace to the gods and gods of the planet Kai. Now we rise and leave as I come. One.